Johnny, congratulations. That was a hard fought win, one of the toughest draws you, you could have got as well. Just sum it up for us. Yeah, 100%. Like I said earlier on, you know, I always say I play against a good mate, and Chris, Chris Dobie is one of my best mates. You know, we sit on the same table. I know what Chris can do because he's one of the biggest 180 throwers on, on circuit. And, you know, I just, I just held my, I, I, I know I broke him early, but I just held my throw and that was important. Like, so, um, you know, I've got a smile on my face, especially playing against a calibre of, of Chris Toby. But this tournament's not been kind to you uh, over the years. So is it, is it nice to get off and running with, with a decent performance as well to build into the tournament? Oh, 100%. It's always good to get off and running. You know, that first game, it's, it's, it's a nightmare in whichever tournament you're in. But, you know, the crowd are bouncing up there, to be fair to them. They're absolutely brilliant. And, you know, it's, it's, it's good. You know, it's good to have that first win. Smile on my face. And especially against um, a quality player like Chris. You've got that real twinkle in your eye again. The darts are going good. You're smiling. The famous finger <laughs> point is back. Is this now the time that Johnny Clayton kicks on and starts winning majors again? Uh, hopefully. Do you know what I mean? Listen, I'd, I've had a tough time. It's like dance not going well. It's a tough time, mate. Right? You know, but they're starting to come back. And obviously, a bit of form. You know, I'm starting to win games again. It's, you know, obviously it puts a smile on my face and it puts confidence in myself. So um, that's what I want and hopefully I can carry on going. You stopped tinkering with the equipment as well. Are you overthinking it? When, when the darts aren't going well, I saw you chopping the chains and darts, stems, points, the lot, but now you come back to, you know, the reliable setup. Is that a major thing with just the mental part of it as well? Yeah, probably it is. You know, I looked on eBay for a new arm, but it didn't work. <laughs> you know, but no, all, all jokes aside, um, it is probably when things are not going good, you have to work at it, not change things. So um, I suppose if things are going good, you can change things because you don't think about it as much. So um, yeah, I've gone back. It's my old setup. It's you know it's, it's working so far. Johnny, congratulations. Thank you Johnny, so much. You talked about it there that, that the game is coming back. Quarter final in Prague. Quarter final. In Leicester, where are the confidence levels now compared to say six months ago? Oh, 100%. You know, it's 100% higher because, you know, I was giving up. Like I always say, I was giving up. Dance was nothing to me, it meant nothing to me. So my time was up, but I generally I mean that 100%. But listen, with good family and good support behind you, you know, they've, they put belief back in my heart, and it's like, I got a smile on my face, fire in my belly, and hey, look out. Who knows what comes? When people look at a performance, they might look at how many 180s or what the average was, but really what wins titles is the timing, and you took out some crucial two dart finishes there against Chris Dolby, especially at 84 at the end. Is, is that going to be key this week, just doing, making sure that you're hitting those finishes when they matter? Yeah, I think, like you say, you know, those two dart finishes are key at any time, because, you know, they, Chris, I think Chris was sat on a double, just waiting for me to miss, and I hit the ball at the last start. It hurts when you play, or somebody does it against you. Somebody hits that last start, and the ball, the double top, whatever, it hurts, because you've got to start again. So it's like, you know, crucial moments in, in, in matches. If you can hit the right score, or a good, or a good out shot, you know, averages mean nothing. It's the W behind your game. That's what, that, that's what means everything. You know, obviously, you'd like to have a 100 average. Of course you would. But I'd rather W behind my, my name than 100 average. It's not really a lot of breaks now between now and the World Championship. With, with the, the game that you've got, the confidence levels, do you think that you could do something really big between now and Alexandra Palace? Yeah, I, take, I take every game as it comes, do you know what I mean? Um, I always try 100%, always, a million percent. You know, I don't go up there to lose. You know, I don't think any player does. It's just sometimes they click, sometimes they don't. And if they don't, you try again. And hopefully they're going to click in the World Championship for me. Big well done, Johnny. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Val. Thank you. Johnny, you took out 66, uh, 96, 76, 84. So these, these kind of finishes uh, helped you getting over the line? Oh, 100. You know, like I say, the scores, just, the scores are for show. Sure. Doubles for dough, basically, you know. But, you know, it, it always feels good when you do take up the two darters, you know, that last start in hand that gets you that little leg a little bit further from your opponent. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's always important. So is this also something you actually work on in, in practice? Yeah, it, it's, 
I come to the to, to to the venue about three and a half hours before before my match, and you know, I'm not one to throw a treble twenties. I'm one that goes for you know like double sixteens, double tops. Even though I don't like double top, but you know you still have to try and practice on it. So I do throw a lot at doubles more than than trebles to be honest. Six quarterfinals for you in the last two months. So one step further this weekend. I hope so. I hope we go two steps further. But, um, no, genuinely, um, you know, I'm here to try and win this tournament. If it's my time, it's my time. If not, I'll try again. And is there a certain target you have for, let's say, the rest of the year um, until after the World Championship? Um, obviously, you know, we all want to win the World Championships. But the quality of the field that's playing darts at the moment, anyone can win it. So. Um, Luckily enough, I'm in the mix and I'm going to try my best to try and win it. So I just take every competition as it comes and try my best. Thank you. Thank you very much.